Yo, what is going on, Sexy Sandlander Squad? I'm here with another Overprime video, and this time I'm going to be showing you guys the best build you can do on ADCs right now. And this this is a hunter build, right? <laughs> he said, "Am I the real Sam?" That's funny. This is a hunter build because hunters are currently the most overpowered um, type of character in this game. <clears throat> I will say warriors can get kind of close. How is really up there? Uh, Uruk is really up there. He can pull you in. He can do some good damage, you know, so <clears throat> there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that might be able to, to do something, but I think hunters are the top of the tier when it comes down to, um, when it comes down to just like doing damage. Now, the reason I think Scud is the best hunter and why, re why I think this is the best build and Scud is the best hunter and hunters are the best thing. So basically, I think this is the strongest you can be in this game because Scud has infinite range with his E ability, which he, he crouches down and he shoots a grenade really far out. Um, I'm actually going to start like this with two health pots and a mana pot and duo lane is on the right here. So I'll head over there. Um, His E has infinite range. His Q does a huge amount of burst damage to single target. His R, which is his ultimate, shoots all the way across the map, no matter where you are. And it has almost no cast time. It's absolutely absurd. The harder you charge, or the longer you charge, and the more damage it does with a maximum. Um, his normal auto attacks are, well, basically just auto attacks. And his right click takes any melee and knocks them back. And gets you a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more distance so his kit is very very good it's a lot safer than a lot of the other hunters or assassins whatever you want to call them and i'm actually just going to go down and see if i can maybe get some poke damage on this boy here oh what the heck is that You're gonna let me do some damage to you for free huh All right, create a little poke damage. No harm, no foul. Yeah, let's just start poking this wave down a bit. I can use a little bit of mana. Use a little bit of mana. Start poking this wave down. I got to shoot the toes of these minions. I'm not really looking to uh, do all that amount of damage yet. Just got to farm. Got to make sure I'm getting these last hits, getting the CS. Did I, not, did I miss that one? I did for a second. Um, oh man, I could do quite a lot here. But right now, like I said, I'm just focusing a lot on CS. If I get my Q off on him. All right, just send him back a bit. I got a little overzealous there, I'll admit. I could actually blink in here, maybe. Oh, but he got first blood for me. Heck yeah, dude. That's super sick. And on Scud, I do like to max my Q. And the reason being is that burst damage you just saw me do on him with my Q is very, very strong. It's hard to land the Q if there's minions around. But if you can get a situation like that, I mean, you're just doing so much damage. Uh, I can launch some autos. But uh, unfortunately, looks like... Looks like he doesn't really want a piece. It's fine. Ignoring my... Blocking my CS, I see, huh? Man. The support is doing numbers right now. I'm level 3. My Q is level 3. Oh, perfect kill. Let's go. Massive. I'm just going to be poking him a little bit. I want to make sure I don't take too much damage because I could be getting ganked. And their, uh, their jungler is Beatrice, and Beatrice does quite a lot of damage. Gotta make sure I'm getting these last hits, like I said. Uh, this guy, and then this guy, maybe? No, this guy. Interesting. And one little tip I will give you guys is their health bars turn red. You see when their their health bar turns red here, when you can actually get the last hit. Okay, that was annoying. Oh! I mean, look at my damage. 
It's uh, it's almost funny that you think you could do something to me. I have 1,200 gold, so I could back for my first tier one item. And I'm really going to start getting into the build here soon. My first back, I'll spend a little bit of time and tell you guys about the build before I go too heavy into it. Um... And I think right here I will level my E just so I can get some good... Okay, that's annoying. So I can get some uh, some wave clear going. Now, as much as I did want to use that Q on the tank there, I thought it was just going to be better if I saved it for the, uh, for the other opposing hunter. Turns out I was right. Slowly whittling the sound. That guy over there needs to die. Oh, nice. Nice, getting all my CS. Now, a good rule of thumb is kind of like League of Legends. Oh my gosh. Blocking my CS is so obnoxious. Um, Kind of like League of Legends is... Oh, hold on. We could get a kill here, maybe. I'm missing my auto attacks. Um, That's all right. But uh, when you press tab, you want 30... Or you want about 10 CS per minute in the game obviously it's going to ramp up over time you're not going to start with that amount because it's a little obnoxious to start with that amount but um you know I, I think at five minutes 30 to 40 is probably a decent starting point but by the time you're at the 15 minute you you pretty much need 130 if you want to be really like up to par i'm gonna back here i got about 1800 gold it's it's too much and my first item is going to be the blade of Huan, and the reason is because I'm going to buy uh, some potions too. The reason is because the active is way too good to give up. The active of this item is, uh, can I, I can't really show you guys while moving, but um, you get 30% movement speed every minute. So it's basically a sprint. And it also, the base stats, 40 power, 30 pen, 15% attack speed. Everything you want as a hunter. Oh, thank you, jungler. Appreciate you. Everything you need as a hunter along with uh just a slight amount oh hello i'm not scared of you oh. okay i was gonna see if i could save my q but i got my boys coming in here but yeah so basically the whole point of this build is to farm up and then late game you are just going to absolutely demolish Anything that walks next to you. I mean, basically what any hunter does in any game. You're going to farm up. And then just late game, you're a beast. Pop a health pot here. I'll go into my, my E and start getting some help on the wave clear here. Um... Man, these minions hit so hard. I'll do some damage to the tower here. I don't really think I have kill potential, but I am very close to level six, which is my ultimate, obviously. When I get that, I definitely have kill potential. Man, look at this damage. Oh, 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 last hit. Nice. Last hit. I missed that, missed that CS. All right. There's my ult. And I got to wait for this to go away. Boom. That is why I love his ultimate. You can just do whatever you want. Oh, we're diving. We're diving. Hit him, hit him with the Q. Oh, I'm targeted by the tower. So I'm going to go ahead and blink out of there. And yeah, that is massive. We got a great gank off. I ulted and killed the hunter. And then we got the gank off from the, the support and the jungler. Coming and doing what they need to do. And we might be able to take this tower. I did use my blink. So I got to be a little bit careful of Beatrice. But um, in reality, I still have my, my right click. Which knocks everyone back. So all right. All right. I'm tanking. I'm tanking. I took a tower shot me i just wanted to get all all the uh farm i could get here making sure i'm not missing any last hits oh can i get a range nice i got range for it i got my q leveled up here massive damage 
I mean, I'm already pumping damage right now. Already. And then when, uh, when I get the chance, I can maybe poke a little bit with my E. Oh, I messed up. Oh, but I knocked him back. But I knocked him back. No. Come on. Come on, live. I'm going to get teleported on. Oh. Thank you for defending me. Thank you for defending me. I used my blink under tower to get aggressive for the double kill. So my boy really came in clutch there. Uh, but I now have my Blade of Huon. And my next item is actually not going to be the Berserker's Curse. It is going to be the Short Sword of Decay. Because basically what that is going to be doing is giving me everything I want as a hunter again. Which is all that power. Hold on. Let me show you. 20 power. 20% crit rate, which is really going to scale up because my crit rate starts at 10% because, um, I mean, I'm a hunter. So, it, well, it's because I have this, but, um, my crit rate starts at 10%. This will boop it, boop it all the way up to 30%. And, uh, going to give me a lot more damage on just my normal boxing potential fights. That, uh, that solo lane is getting really ganked, but I just got all that CS and Damn, it feels amazing. Once I take my first tier one. Once I take my first tier one, I am going to be uh, much more rotate heavy. Oh my God. And you can see, you can see right there just how much damage I'm doing. A Q and an auto attack just did that much. And he, here is, he's coming. Go ahead and just alt him for an entire health bar of HP just completely obliterated with the double kill and let's go ahead and get this if we can I'm not going to be doing too much damage here but when they don't have a jungler and they don't have uh when they don't have a jungler and uh, wait hold on should I be doing this this is more DPS this is way more DPS it does cost mana every auto attack but oh he reset it dude he reset it Damn. That's unlucky. I thought... I, I didn't think he was going to reset it. I thought we were going to go for it. I'm 2,000 gold away. I'm going to be super greedy. I have no mana. But I do have my Blade of Huon. So I think what I can do... Like I said, is be super greedy. I'm, I'm just going to try to farm for that last 600 gold. And you'll, you'll already see, right? Like, I have 5 kills. My CS is a little bit lacking. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm messing up a little bit on my last hits. But uh, I'm making up by it. Or making up for it by just murdering all enemies whenever I damn well please with this build. I wish I could just... Wish I could just go through there, but... I mean, I can just go through there, but... I wish I could shoot through it. Alright, I'm a little low. I do have my Blade of Huan, which is going to keep me a little bit safe. Assuming I utilize it well. But like I like I said, it's it can be a little scary. Oh. Hmm. I have alt. I have alt, and we're getting gank. We're getting a gank coming in. I hit him for quite a lot of damage for my teammate. I got my Q going on the big guy, and that is going to be another kill, dude. Another kill. I'm six zero and four. My supports are doing amazing. My Q is now maxed out. And I got my 2,000 gold to go back. So I got this hella crit chance and a bit more attack speed. Now with this build. With this build. Uh, I know it's hard to believe that it's the best build in the game. But you just got to trust me. Because uh, at the end of this. I have this item. Oh, well I have four or five of these items. I never buy the Decima Cannon. I don't care about nullifying physical defense. Because the meta right now doesn't call for it. Instead, I go for the Time Bandit. Which gives me 50 power, which is more than this by 15. 30% attack speed, which this gives none. And gives you cooldown plus cooldowns per basic attack. So my cooldowns, my Q, my ult, everything's going to be going off a ton. Um, so that's going to be the build. You're going to go those five key items. The, the uh, This one, into this one, into um, the Lifesteal one. So you're going to go boom. Boom, 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 boom. And you're just going to go back and forth, basically. You're just going to little, like, rubber band it 
And your last item will be Time Bandit. I'm a little scared. We're getting ganked. But maybe I don't need to be scared. Right, I'm going to blink away. Be extremely safe. I have my ult up in a, just a little bit. But what I can do is exactly that. Use my E. Like I said, you have infinite range, man. That's why I think this character is so good. Infinite range. And where is my other boy? There he is. And that, my boys, is a triple kill. Just like that. Just like that. Gonna go into my E and just clear like this. I don't care too much about the CS right now. I more care about maybe pushing for that inhib. Or making sure that I am massive and nobody can contest me. Man, you can see this attack speed and this damage I'm doing is... It's par none, man. It's par none. Come on, give me the feet. Nice, I got the toe. Mm. All right. Let's just shoot some damage. Just shoot some damage up there. Actually, don't mind this. I can just walk straight around it. And I am looking, being a little bit careful that I'm getting ganked. You know, I don't want to... Definitely don't want to get ganked. Oh my god, that damage is absurd. My alt just hit that guy for 300. He's the support, by the way. Now I'm just going to backpedal and get these last hits. Uh, what's my last hit at? You can see the bottom right, my last hit is 100. I have 100 at the 15 minute mark. Like I said, that's probably around where you want to be. Hold on. Let's hit that. Oh, maybe could kill him. They are rotating in, though. All right, I'm doing good damage. All right, I used my knockback to kill him. I will use my Q on you. And then I will use my Blade of Huan to run away. Hopefully this guy cannot catch me. Obviously he's looking to. Oh, I got caught. I got caught. Going to sprint mode. Help me out, brother. Nice. And then... Awesome, 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 awesome. I was going to say, and then from all the way back here, I could just go into my E, which I have been maxing, and start firing some insane rounds off. But I'm going to go for my life seal heal, but what I'm going to do instead is... Let's see, 15 power. I think 15 power is probably better than 5% life steal. So that's what I'll go. And then I'll go a couple more HP pots. And uh, it looks like mid is the only one having a little bit of issue. He doesn't have his tower down yet. So I'm going to go mid. What level am I? I am level 11. We do have a level 12 on the team who's doing quite well. 5, 2, and 3. But, I mean, as you can see, I'm 12 and 0. 100 and, uh, or 103 CS. Nobody is even competing. I can 1v3 at this point and just completely demolish. Maybe even more than 1v3. And right here, I'm going to ult. I think I can ult through walls. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I can ult through walls. I cannot alt through walls. I lied to you. Or maybe I missed. I don't know. And I'm going to use my Blade of Huan to make sure I get in this fight. He teleported somewhere. I don't know where he teleported. Oh, he teleported that way. Whatever. Y'all got him. Y'all got him. Where's Shade? Shade is my enemy uh, ADC. There he is. Oh, they surrendered. Dude, I'm telling you. I only got three items. I got three items into the best build ever. I Again, like I said, I think Hunters are the best characters in Overprime. I think Scud is the best Hunter in Overprime because he has the knockback. He has the infinite range. And uh, not to mention that, he has an insane ultimate. As long as you have line of sight, apparently. And let's look at damage to heroes. I mean, like, this guy did quite a bit, right? But other than him, like, dude, we're doing a lot. We're doing so much damage. He had a good damage too, but... I'm telling you, this is insane. Not only that, but like, look at this damage to uh, Teons and monsters and buildings and damage taken. Like, I got 
more damage taken and damage reduced than him while also last hitting everything it's 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 so good it's so strong and yeah it gives you all the stats you need really quick it gives you a lot of power gives you a little bit of pen because you do need a little bit of base penetration see that percentage nullification of that that six key item that i was talking about is okay but it's it's not really good in this meta as you see they only have one tanky character that's it every this whole meta is hunters and mages and you don't really want to like you don't really care about that honestly you'd much rather just go straight for damage so like i said you're going to get that 30 base pat penetration immediately with 40 power and 15 percent uh attack speed with the bonus of being just a little bit safer you know that that blade of huan saved me more than once during that game as well as let me chase so um and then at, right after that you're going to build another 15 percent attack speed 20 power and 20 percent crit rate that also lowers their protection a little bit more just for those tanks just for those tanks if you need it now for me i ended up fighting this tank a lot so i ended up going second uh, normally you can go this item third but i decided to go with second just because this tank was really annoying me he would always throw up that wall and and you know piss me off but whatever and uh yeah i mean that the items just they build themselves after that you're just going power for chance you know you're going that lifesteal item that that procs extra lifesteal and that's gonna carry all of your games i promise you can do this on any hunter by the way it doesn't have to be scud it works the best on scud in my opinion or cult but it works the best on scud in my opinion because of the fact that your e has infinite range and you have the knockback on your right click so if someone does jump on you because you're building that life steal so late you always have some sort of way to get out of it um and if you are low hp instead of having to back you could just use the infinite range on your e to clear the wave before you back or something so i think it works best on him thank you guys so much for um watching the video and if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time boys Peace.